the homie a quick break. Let him recharge because we have a match to compensate. Squad. Put him in a coffin. Hyrule Hero versus Game Prodigy. Yes. This is going to be the Link versus yes. the Rosalina. Should be good. And here we go. Okay, straight back into it. Hyrule Hero, the super homie. Let's go. Dude, yeah, shout out to Hyrule Hero. He's seriously. He's such a good dude. He is a fantastic dude, man. Him and his brother. Oh, Shout yeah. View squared. Guys. Yeah. Squared. Dub bros. Yeah, Dub but they've bros. been leveling, leveling up like crazy lately. They have. I'm curious to see if he can, he's going to be able to for sure take this set off of Game Prodigy. And Hyrule Hero, uh, kind of a rough start so far. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's been able to get his ground or really use his projectile game at all. Uh, but it's have no fear. It's it's just simply uh, you have to just get started. And it all comes from maybe one hard knockdown. And then Hyrule Hero can kind of get his game started. But Game Prodigy showing his chops right now in neutral. It's the Attack on Titan matchup, you know? You gotta get through the walls. Yeah. You gotta get through the walls. And it makes it a little bit harder because this latest patch actually buffed Luma's health. Yeah. She's up to, I think, to like 50 HP now. So you have to do a lot oh, more damage. Oh, no. Is it really 50 HP? Something like That's that. That's way too much because previously, I when I talked to people, it they all, all honestly had combos specifically just to deal with Luma and then just wreck this character and shove him off stage. Uh, so fast that it's like, all right, now it's irrelevant. I have some free time. Ooh, and you saw right there, Hyrule Hero tried to come in, but Luma was still out there, even though Rosalina was hurt and was able to sneak in a quick counter attack. Right, right. Okay, see what he can get. That's a dead Luma. There you go. Now yes. he has about what, 12 and a half seconds, I think. Yo, this, this, that's not good. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see what he can do. Okay. Hey man, 12 seconds a lot can happen. Oh gosh, he's trying to zone him, get him with those airs, try to zone him out a little bit, and at least create some uh, frustration. Uh, but I want to see more of the rings. I want to see more arrows. I want to see more bombs. Oh, well, there's the bomb for you. Yeah, that's a good start. Bust it out more, especially if you're gonna have someone zone you out. It means that if they are misspacing on those Luma hits, you have time to put out your projectiles. And we're really just seeing some star bits. We're not really seeing too many Luma ports. It seems like that was maybe the first one that we've seen from Game Prodigy this entire set. Yep. So if Hyrule Hero is really smart about it and he just plays a projectile neutral a little bit better than Game Prodigy can, then it could be really nice for him. But Game Prodigy. Oh. Didn't even need to send out Luma there. Hyrule Hero way too far to recover back. He had the bomb in hand, but it never actually got set off, so he didn't get any recovery out of it. That's true, but you know who just got set off? That yeah, Luma, man. That Let's Luma. see what he can do. 12 seconds. Clock is ticking, sir. Go in. If you, you had won. one chance. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> lose everything you ever want. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're too late. You're too late. She's back. She's back. She's it's done. It's over. It's done. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Mom spaghetti, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, God. <laughs> <Video>. <laughs> okay, well, either way, Game of Prodigy doing a lot of damage right now on Hyrule Hero. Almost 60% in extra credit. Oh, Luma is just so difficult to deal with. Noticing Hyrule Hero using that Zare a lot more as a zoning option. Doesn't want to come in too close when Luma is in play. Wants to really focus on taking her out as quick as possible. I really hope Hyrule Hero has a secondary that can potentially deal with this because this has looked like such a struggle of a matchup. I mean, wow. he's got a Sheik, but I mean, he, the dude cosplays as Link to tournaments sometimes. <laughs> His dedication runs deep. Yes, it does. He can do this for sure. It's just a oh. matter of figuring out how to get through the walls. Yeah. He has the bomb. There you go. Use it on Luma. Yeah, still living. Oh, is that yeah. going to be it? Yeah, yes, it is. it is. That three piece and a biscuit taking out Hyrule Hero with a decisive two star. Yeah, it but was. It really was. Yeah. That's game one, though. That was game one. So. Okay. It's just the start. Here's what I'm saying, though. Honestly, consider using a counter because at this point, nothing really went right that match. <laughs> you you had a great you had great moments where you were dealing with with Luma and you kind of shoved her off the side or you killed her. It, it, the problem is is that there was too far in few between and the opportunities that you get are so little. So find a way to capitalize. Just go in there, break through, use your aerial game to get away from Luma and drop down with those fares. I really strongly encourage the swap to Sheik right now because I believe that would be the winning ticket. Mm. The golden ticket. The golden ticket. I got a golden, golden ticket. <laughs> I got a golden twinkle in my eye. I love that. Na, 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 na. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that got so weird, dude. That got, that got, we go, that got weird. That okay, got anyways, weird. here we go. Game number two, Hyrule Hero. He needs to win this game, else he's going to be knocked straight to the loser's bracket. A lot of killers in there. I know Aggro's there, Zanzi's there. Oh, no, no. Brown Phenom Battalion. is there, too. Brown Battalion. Oh, Brown Battalion. No, no, I, no I, I dropped him from the sponsorship as soon as he got too no. stuck. He got too stuck, and I dropped, <laughs> I dropped the sponsorship real quick. I was like, you know what? Uh, uh, you it's know a what? bad investment. 
you know, at this time you don't fit our necessary qualifications, but we will keep you on file in case future opportunities. Oh my God! Hit him with a hit him with a copy pasta recruiter. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to jokes that are way outside of this demographic that no. we're catering to. Uh, anyways, oh, that's his way of coping. Is that he walks forward slightly and then stays in neutral, and then the the shot comes out from the projectile from Lumal, and then the shield is the one that hits it. Yeah. So just it, and for y'all that don't know, it's been like that since melee. Just say it. A little starboard shot. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's literally a projectile. But if he chooses to do the Luma port, it's not gonna work out because that's actually like a physical person that's exactly. hitting your body. So Ooh. you know, he had the right read, he just pushed the uh, grab a little bit too early. Game Prodigy sneaks away from that grab and ends up sneaking in that back air. Yep. Strong stuff. Okay, that's gonna be some good damage once again. Did Maja. Can Hero Hero even land at this point? Luma has to be approaching near that percent where she's going to get knocked out. Or even better, Rosalina takes it with the Luma. Yeah. That was great. And that was really good. You know, he had his back against the wall temporarily, but he just made the most of that raged forward smash and just took that stock out so quick. And that's something that's, that people don't consider enough of, is the fact that rage really changes a lot of how neutral is. You have to be so much more scared of the knockback potential that exists, especially when you're towards the edge. Okay, has the bomb, trying to see if he can cover the, the recovery. Great stuff, loses Luma. This is perfect, this is perfect. This is exactly what Hyrule Hero needs. Oh! Nice, he jumped up, baited out the air dodge, and then gets that up smash. But Gamer Prodigy catches that bomb, tosses it right back, tried to fish for the grab, but Hyrule Hero very wisely retreating. Luma, back in play. Okay, it's fun. He's, oh no, dead. it's not fun. He's dead, he's, he's done. done, he's, he's done. done, he's that's done. it. It's okay, it's okay. You know, he's, he had the Ocarina of Time able to bring things back. We're down to one stock apiece now. Let's see if he can keep using these projectiles effectively. Doing a great job trying to avoid Luma, oh. but that attack as he jumps in. I would have liked to see a Tomahawk there instead. It's true, you know, Link, he has that great disjointed hitbox. It's true, and some nice, strong aerials, but they also have a lot of lag on them, so you certainly cannot whiff them on shield as you're going to be getting grabbed like we saw just then. Good back, back airs. airs. Yeah, hopping right over Luma as well. Oh, he just dropped in. That was a lot better. He took care of the, he tried to almost do the Tomahawk, not ma making it successful though. He does have some precious seconds here to deal with Rosalina exclusively. Ooh, but Game Prodigy does not care. He gets that quick grab and using that downbeat just to suck in all those items. And just chuck them out of the way. Mm -hmm. And there's Luma. The Luma's the third wheel on this date, man. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, she's blocking everything right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We can't go. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Get get set up. Oh, oh yes. Luma's out. He's done. And there goes Game Prodigy. We're going to game three. Yes, we are. Man, Hyrule Hero with some great adaptation. Did a very good job that game of using stronger attacks to knock Luma off immediately. True, the HP buff is there. Yep. But that's for her to just disappear standard. Yep. If she falls off into that tumble animation. She's still done. Bring huh? back Benoit. Mm -hmm. You don't get that reference. I did. You do? Chris Benoit? Okay. You know, Yen? No, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about it. We're not talking about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about, it. Don't worry about none of this. Okay, so. here we go. Game number three. <laughs> Are we going to be seeing a character swap? No. Nope. Just a color swap. Okay. Which is the most important. Thing. Yes. The color Obviously. swap. You got to yeah. look fresh. Yeah. If you're going to go in there and win that? Faf. Mm. Okay, here we go. All right, start it off. Off to Halberd. Great. You got to be careful at the start of the stage. You do not want <laughs> to be on the edge there, because you remember the last time we saw this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was oh, not good. Because yeah. uh, we've seen it where someone is on the ground as soon as this happens, yeah. and they die instantly. Oh, yeah. I've seen this. I lived it. I was that guy who died <laughs> instantly, all right? <laughs> let's, uh, let's be honest, man. It's like, man, this wasn't in Smash 64. What is this? <laughs> let's see if you can get in. Yeah, having a hard time really dealing any damage. Really digging the way that Game Prodigy is just setting up some of these walls. But there's Ooh. the crack in the defense. He's just, he just said, just do it, and went in with that forward smash. A little bit too over Zayla's coming back onto the stage. Great air dodge followed by a latch onto the stage. And that back air for positioning was excellent choice. And there goes Luma. Here's some yes. precious time alone. Excellent. Excellent taking out Luma quickly, but spending a lot of that time trying to get back onto the stage. Luma should be back in play within the next couple of seconds. Here she comes. Oh, no. Good stuff. Avoiding the up smash. And there's Luma right back here on the scene. Minimal amount of percent. Hyrule Hero really needs to do a better job of capitalizing on that time that he has. Okay. See how he's Let's see how he's going to approach here. Drops in. Good choice. He's going in and going straight to shield, not trying to get hit by Luma. You know, I'm not seeing too many grabs from Game Prodigy unless Luma is gone. Otherwise, Hyrule Hero gets away with staying in his shield a lot. That's very true. Uh, I want to see more bombs, see more projectiles. Let's oh, see if you can loosen them up a little bit. I don't want to see projectiles when they're that close. Oh, we got them. Up throw, up air. That Rough was clean. Uh -huh. 
Okay. How's he going to bring this back? Uh, it Honestly, 42%. This is this is where he was in the game one, uh, so this is a similar problem. Let's see what he can bring back to the table. What did he do in game two? He came in, he made some adjustments, he put out nice, safe, quick options, um, and then when he had moments where he just trained his opponent to shield a bit more, went in with a forward smash, killed Luma just like that. Ooh, just yes, like that. There you go. There's oh, he dropped out. Oh, oh, yo, yo, that was super cool because he pulls it down with, with the gravitational pull, but then it kills him anyways because it sets up for the uh, down air, then into the force smash. Oh my god, that was cool. That was that funny. was cool. I like that. That was that was neat. That was neat. We're gonna hashtag neat for that one. Okay, they're staying full screen. Okay, good. I want to see Hyrule Hero come in here with a good roll and see if he can just stay in center stage. Game Prodigy's grill. Yeah, get up close. Try to throw out some attacks that knock Luma back harder, yeah. you know? Uh, those quick attacks are nice, you know, non-committal options, but every now and then you got to commit just a little bit just to take Luma out. I like that. There you go, yeah. That was a good little forward tilt. Oh. Takes away temporarily, but because Game Prodigy is doing a good job of either maintaining center stage or backing Hyrule Hero into a corner, makes it so that it's a lot harder for him to take out Luma. See, this is what he needs. This is what he needs. He needs a positioning like this. Because there you go. There goes Luma. Luma's done. Brilliant. Now you have a fighting chance, especially with rage mode now enabled. You can go in there with forward smashes and get a lot better positioning. That's true. I mean, I don't think a forward smash is going to KO at this percent. No, no. But you want them off stage at least. Now you can pull out projectiles, chuck bombs, chuck rangs, and there's nothing they can do about it except air dodge. And if you guess right on those air dodges, you can potentially create up even more damage. Man, he just, once again, didn't really capitalize too much on the fact that Luma was gone. That was a really good evasion overall by Game Prodigy. Hyrule Hero, no, it seems like his back's kind of against the wall. Game Prodigy really looking for that up throw up air. Very tense moment. Okay, good stuff in shield. Predicted the roll, and that's why you saw Game Prodigy react. Okay. Oh, good How stuff. How is he going to get out of the corner? It's so integral for him to get out of this corner as quick as he can. He still has a nice amount of rage. He has a great amount of patience, too. Can he bring it back? Oh. Is Game Prodigy about to walk away with it? That whiff! Is That's the game. The game. Oh. That is such a such a disappointment because he whiffed one move and that cost him everything right uh, there. Man. All he went he went all in when he when he didn't have pocket aces, man. Yeah. So what happened? Yeah. He had a he had like unpaired twos. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> like a two and a three. He had a two and a three unpaired. Yeah. He just threw it all on the table. He was like, you know what? <laughs> I got all black cards. <laughs>